All right, this is Ronald from uh, Media Run LLC, and I'm going to show you how User Profile Enhance works. And when you first install the plugin, it says User Profile Data needs to be migrated for User Profile Enhance to function properly. So let's go ahead and migrate. And what this is doing behind the scenes is getting all your uh, post titles and stuff ready for this new uh, plugin here. And once it's done, you go to the settings screen. Now, what you can do is you can show the user picture post type, allow users to have public profiles, um, allow font awesome in the admin area or the front end. And I'm going to go ahead and check all of these. Let's do also enable author boxes. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, and if it all is well, when I go to user profile pictures, I should see profile pictures that has my users in it. And then if I go to author boxes, you won't see anything in there right now. So let's go to a user and enter some social media profiles. So let's go to test contributor and let's go ahead and add some Facebook. And then I'm going to save that social media profile and then I'm going to add another one. Let's do, uh, let's go ahead and get GitHub in here. Oops. Looks like there's a small bug. That should be GitHub. There we go. And then let's keep it that way for the user profile. And I'll change the title to, uh, CEO of Meteoron and then use user profile picture to select my profile picture and then go ahead and save it down here. So now if I go to user profile picture and all profile pictures um, you'll see that Tusk's contributor has my profile. Let's go ahead and load some data into there. Um, what we want to do is we want to uh, show either a biography or an avatar. So let me go ahead and remove these blocks that I previously entered in. There's a lot of them at the moment. I think there should only be a few more. Uh, what you have is you have some new blocks that you can find as your user profile picture. And you can do social networks, profile avatar, um, biography, recent posts. So let's go ahead and start with an avatar. And let's make it rounded. And then I can select a profile size. So say for example there is a, uh, a large one out there. Um, it'll use that. If you want to change this profile picture, all you have to do is go to the featured image and then select a photo and then update the post. And that'll change your avatar to something a little bit more high. And since it looks weird rounded, let's do it square and let's do a uh, landscape photo or we could do a large photo. There we go. And then we can enter a caption. And then let's go ahead and add in some uh, recent posts. And you could change the scene from uh, light to green to aqua. Um, change it to blue, for example. Um, you can change it to red. So let's go ahead and keep it as red for now. And then we're going to enter in some social media profiles. And right now we just have uh, Facebook and GitHub, which is what we got before. We can change the icon size to make it a lot larger. We can lower the padding so that it makes more sense. Uh, we can add a border to this. We can add a border radius if we're using a border. And then we can also change the uh, orientation from horizontal to vertical. So. I don't know what Wendy, uh, she's helping me with this video. What do you like better, vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal. So let's go with horizontal. 
And then finally, it's finished off with the biography. And this will have a biography heading. And then I can adjust the padding on this, like so. And let's go ahead and update that, and then view our profile picture on the front end. And this is what it looks like. Now, what to do about the author box that shows up at the end of, uh, excuse me, end of post. Let's go there. Say, for example, you want to create an author page or an author box that goes on the bottom of every single post. So what I'll do is I'll create a new author block. And I'm going to show you how do you how you can customize this. Right now, there's a default theme. Uh, there's five or six themes available: there's center, bold, minimal, dark, light, and professional. And I'll show you each of those in a minute. But you can adjust the heading color. You can adjust the heading size. Um, you can change the about the heading color, which is down here. Uh, you can change that font size too. You can select an avatar shape, which is square or round. Adjust the padding, adjust the border, uh, change the background color to something. Um, and that's all we have for now. Um, you can change the default image too as well right here. So let's go ahead and play with some scenes real quick. So we can change it to uh, just centered, which will look like that. We can change it to bold, which will look like that. Let's give it some padding so that it makes a little bit more sense in the bold theme. And let's give it a border radius. Okay, so this is, let me uh, think the border radius is being overridden by the theme, which is fine. There's also minimal, there's dark, there's light, and then there's professional. So each one of these uh, preset select themes you can do. If you don't want to choose any and you want to select something on your own, then what you would do is just clear the border, uh, change the uh, background color, background title, whatever. For, for now, let's go with uh, the bold theme. And we're going to go ahead and publish that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the settings and say I want to select the author box bold for each one of these posts that are created. So let's go ahead and look at some posts. This is a test contribution by test contributor. So there we go. The title is being shown. A biography is being shown. Connect with the author goes to the author's user page. If they filled out a website, it will go to their website instead. And let's look at another uh, same one as test, which has a different author, which is Ronald Rica. So I got a different title, different biography, different link, which goes to MediaRon, and different social media profiles. So. Basically, on every single post, you will now find an author box at the very bottom. And uh, that's currently the status at the moment. I'm considering this in beta so that I can get some feedback from users about how they want to use this. Coming up soon is co author support. So I'm going to support co authors plus in 1.1, but right now this is 1.0 and it's a beta. So thank you for watching.